short film is designed to help you understand how to use the Home Energy Audit Toolkit or Heat Kit. By implementing some or all of the tips in the kit, you can save money on your power bill every year. These changes can also help make your home more comfortable and warmer, even if you live in a rental property. Some improvements are free and only require behaviour changes. Others require a small cost, but will pay you back with energy savings. The main areas that use power in a typical house are heating and hot water, followed by refrigeration, lighting and appliances. By looking at each of these areas with the help of the heat kit, you can work out where energy is being used and how you can start reducing the amount you use. It contains a compass, a stopwatch, a thermometer, an infrared radiometer, information cards and a record sheet, and most importantly, the power mate. Throughout this video, we will take you through just how to use all these items. Once you get used to them, it's very easy, lots of fun and something the whole household can be involved with. The heat kit comes with a series of information sheets that detail how to use the tools included in the kit and suggestions on how to improve the energy efficiency of appliances, as well as tips on changing behaviours. The heat information cards detail how to test various appliances around the home and what steps you can take to use less power and save money. Along with the information sheets is a record keeping sheet. This is really important. Use this to track the results on the items you test. This will help you make best use of the kit and find ways to save power and money. It's a great way to include other members of the household in the process. Let's start with the refrigerator. First, use the infrared radiometer to check for leaks on the seal. Any leaks will show up as cool spots. Replacing fridge and freezer door seals means your fridge won't have to work so hard and will save you money. This device can also be used to check for ventilation behind large electronic appliances that generate heat and for drafts throughout the house. There are a variety of ways to deal with these issues by either increasing the ventilation or sealing problem areas that create drafts. Household appliances come in all shapes and sizes and use a surprisingly large or surprisingly little amount of energy. This is where the power mate becomes your mate. The power mate, put simply, tells you how much energy is being consumed over a given time. By measuring any appliance for a period, the power mate can tell you how much electricity is used and the cost of running the appliance. To get started, you'll need to plug the power mate into a power outlet and then plug in the unit you'll test. We're testing a television. The screen will automatically show the power that's being drawn by that appliance at that moment. If you press the mode button until the cost screen shows up, you can then test how much it will cost to run that appliance. This screen shows the cost over the run time. So if you leave the power mate plugged in, it gives you an idea of how much it is costing to use that appliance for a given period of time. In addition, you can get an indication of how much it will cost for a quarter or a year by pressing the plus or minus functions. The power mate can also provide you with additional information. You simply press mode to change the way of measuring. The cards in the kit provide lots of detailed information about this. Larger appliances have a bigger effect. By using the power mate, you can determine how much power they use and once again make changes, such as washing in cold water, buying more efficient appliances and using a clothes horse instead of a dryer. A simple way to save money on heating in the home is to change how you use it. The kit comes with a compass. This can be used to understand which rooms in the dwelling face north and therefore receive the most northerly sun. It may be possible to turn a bedroom into a lounge room or vice versa and spend less time and money heating a dark, cold room. Or simply make sure the blinds are open or shut according to the time of day. Another way to save money on both electricity and water is by saving on the amount of hot water used in the shower. The kit comes with a stopwatch and by collecting the amount of water used over a certain time, you can decide whether a more efficient shower head could be installed. There are other ways to create efficiencies with hot water, such as turning down the thermostat to 60 degrees, insulating the hot water pipe from the cylinder, timing the length of showers to four minutes maximum, 
fixing dripping taps straight away and washing clothing in cold water cycles. Our small appliances on their own often only use a small amount of power, but together they can use a lot. Here's a few little things you can do to save a lot. Switch off at the wall socket, replace inefficient items, and alter behaviours such as listen to the radio while preparing meals rather than the television. Another area of our home that makes a difference to our power usage is the way we light our lives. Three simple things you can do to save money are installing compact fluorescent or LED lights, switching off unused lights, and using the natural light where possible. The kit also comes with a thermometer. This can be used to measure the temperature of rooms at different times of the day. By understanding where the warm and cool places are in the home, you can adjust various things to regulate the temperature according to the household needs, such as opening or closing blinds, opening or closing doors, the use of draft stoppers, sealing leaks that cause drafts, adapting the clothing you're wearing to the season, and even minor temperature adjustments in heating can save significant amounts of energy and money. The thermometer can also be used to check the temperature inside the fridge and freezer and make sure they're not running too cold. As you can see, there are many ways in which you can save electricity and therefore money in the home. And the heat kit used correctly is the key to finding those savings. Here's a quick list of the most effective ways to do this. Heating. Only heat rooms that are being used. Allow sunlight to heat rooms where possible. Close blinds or curtains with pelmets at night to retain heat. Stop drafts entering through poorly fitted doors and windows with tape and door stoppers. And carry out regular maintenance of heat pumps. Hot water. Have shorter showers. Install a water efficient shower head. Insulate hot water cylinder pipes and wash clothes in cold water. Refrigerator. Check circulation around the refrigerator. Make sure the refrigerator is in a cool area of the house and check the thermostat for correct temperature. Lighting and appliances. Turn off lights when rooms are not in use. Use energy efficient light globes and turn off appliances, including standby, at wall power switch when not in use. If you require any more details regarding these quick tips, please refer to the information sheets in the kit. There's heaps more information contained in the kit, and I'm sure as you and your household discover how much fun can be had working together to help your budget and the environment, you'll explore more of the detail inside. There's also lots of details on your council's website, or make an inquiry directly to your local council. They're there to serve you.